Hey guys, here's a super easy garden bench you can make for around $30. I made this one using just four two by fours and six one by three strips of wood. One of the things I really like about this project is that it's good for anybody who has a limited number of tools or limited amount of space. All you need to build it is just a saw, either a circular saw or even a hand saw, and a drill. So I've also got a contest, and you'll find out details about that at the end of this video. Uh, I've been wanting to come up with a contest for a long time, and I just haven't really worked out all of the details until recently when I, uh, I contacted Craig Tools. Craig Tools, you know that I'm kind of a big fan of theirs, and they're a company that just really gets it. They understand the hobbyist weekend woodworker. So I asked them if they would be willing to uh, supply some prizes, and they said, yeah, sure. So in this video, while I'm building the, uh, the garden bench, I'm also gonna show you three different Craig tools that will make it a lot easier. You don't have to use those to build this project, but if you enter the contest, you'll have a chance to actually win those tools. I'm cutting four boards for the side pieces. Each of these is 13 inches. Now, if you don't have a miter saw, you can easily make this entire project using just a circular saw. The only trick with using a circular saw is making sure that all of your cuts are square. Mark the length of your board. I'm gonna cut this one to 24 inches, so I put a mark here. And use a square to provide your straight edge. Put the square down and then line your blade up with that mark you made and then slide your square over and make your cut. The only problem with that method is it's just a little awkward to do. So what Craig's done is made this little uh, jig here, it's called the square cut, and you calibrate it to your saw and then move it right over to whatever line you wanna cut. And it's already calibrated that distance between the blade and the edge for you. This is going to be the seat support. So what I need to do is come up 16 inches and make a mark. And I'll make sure that the mark is the same on both pieces. So I draw it straight across. I wanna show you this little jig I made for clamping up these two by fours using a different type of clamp that just slides into this plate like that. And so then I line up my pieces where they need to go and clamp it down. This one's going to be the armrest, so I just want to make sure that it's flush with the top. And there's one side. All right, now to join these together, I've cut two boards that are 45 inches long. So now I can just line this up with that line that I drew earlier. Now, if you don't have a pocket hole jig, you could just as easily put some screws in through the outside. Okay, so I've turned the bench upside down on my workbench. I've cut another two by four to fit in between the front and back rails for the seating part. And I've also cut a three quarter inch scrap board that I'm gonna use as a spacer so I know where to put this. cut out a bunch of these strips of one by threes. It's just three quarter inch lumber that I'll place down in here for the seat. So to attach these, I'm just gluing them onto these cross braces and tacking it down with my nail gun. To space these apart, I'm using the handle on my glue brush, which uh, seems to be the right size. So I just hold it in here and then I can tack it down. I've cut all of the slats for the back. I just need to attach those at an angle. Now to do that, I'm just going to draw a line diagonally. 
diagonally. So what I've got is a long clamp here and I'm going to take my board and line it up along that line that I drew. And that'll just hold it in place long enough for me to put the pocket screws in. So I'm using both glue and the pocket screws on this. I measured this angle here from one side of the 2x4 to the other side, and it's about a 9 degree angle, which feels pretty comfortable to me. I discovered a little bit of this opaque, uh, solid color deck stain that I used a few years ago when I built my deck. I just hope I have enough of it to cover this. And that's all there is to making the garden bench. It's a super simple project. You can easily complete it in a weekend. Uh, if you'd like to enter the Mere Mortals video contest in which you can win some of that cool Craig swag, click the link right here, which will take you to a video explaining how to enter. Good luck.